This is House Hopping, I'm Rashad, and today we're at this four bedroom, two bath home in Tampa, Florida. Let's check this thing out. So this opens up immediately to a nice little foyer area here. I'm not sure what's behind it. Let's check out this, this locked. This probably goes to the garage, but you got a nice little lock there and a lock down here. Yep, and that opens up right into the garage area. So it looks like a two car garage. It's got remote access. It's got air conditioning. There's another access over here, which is probably going out to the side of the house. We'll check that out a different time. We've got water heater, water heater in here, as well as an attic crawl space right there, which is kind of cool. Got some electricity running around if you if you like to do a little, little work in the garage too, as well as uh, your electric box and everything over there. So it's kind of cool. Let's get back on the inside here. We'll lock this guy up. We've got the lock here and the lock here. We'll get those locked out. So when you come in the front door, you got a linen closet here and a linen closet. You got two linen closets for the bathroom that's straight ahead. And so those look kind of cool. <laughs> See if anything different on this side, some shelving, additional shelving on that side. It's kind of cool. And then that goes straight into this bathroom. This is a full bath, lower level. This looks like the bath that the two bedrooms would share. You've got the shower and everything in there and the towel rack and such. You got everything you need there. And then if we come out of here, we've got a, a, a smaller bedroom right in over here. It's run, it has, a, it has a light up here. I'm not sure that that light is available for a ceiling fan. I'm a big fan of ceiling fans. There's a lot of fanning going on, but a nice closet over there. I wonder if does that thing open up? Is it what's hiding behind that door? Nope, that's the whole thing. A nice closet over there, and then that window looks out to the front of the house, which is kind of common here in Florida for the for the homes to look for, for a bedroom, the front a bedroom to be up front and look out the front of the house. Um, and you got your air conditioning return it there, as well as air conditioning control right here. And then you got another bedroom. Nice color, still a little bit smaller, but perfectly fine. You know, if you've got young kids um, or if you're starting your family, this is these are great size rooms for that. And you've got the same light fixture up here. And I guess even when you're looking at that, you probably don't even, you're not even concerned about the ceiling fan option when you've got that. Um, when you've got younger kids or a younger family that you're raising. You got some shelf or some storage space up here or I know a lot of folks like to put like live flowers and stuff up there. Um, so you got that option as well. And you got a nice, a nice couple of archways that open up into this eating or the kitchen area, right? With a look back to the front door. And then you got your dining area, or looks like your dining area over here. But maybe not though, because that's, that light fixture is a little bit higher than I would expect for a dining area. So this could be your living, no, this has got to be a dining area because there's no cable hookup over here. So it's probably more of a dining area than anything else. Um, and then we've got this kitchen area over here. Let's check this out. We've got a nice, uh, nice smaller pantry area there. Okay, got a double sink. All right. Uh, no telescoping, no telescoping faucet there. So you got what you got. You got a dishwasher area right here. And that looks out over into that dining room area right there, as well as a nice little spot hanging some small artwork as you pass through into over here, um, which I believe is gonna be the living room area. And there's a cable hookup right there for your TV, for your internet and all that jazz. Okay, so you got no, you've got, looks like it's run for a fan in here. Again, a big fan of, of, of fans. <laughs> it looks like it's run for a fan in there, but there's no fan that's hooked up over there. So you got a, a refrigerator already in, in, the, in the home and you've got some gas. You got gas over here, which is kind of cool. And again, not as common as you might think here in Florida for there to be gas. No microwave overhead. You've got a normal fan vent right there, but no microwave. 
although you've got counter space if you wanted to put a microwave somewhere in that area or maybe somewhere in this area you've got that option i don't think that uh i don't think i would put it over in this area over here but you've got the option to to kind of throw a microwave in there as well you do that's kind of funky have a ceiling fan in the kitchen um uh, i'm a fan of that though <laughs> I, I can i can get with that because i do spend some time in the kitchen now we talked about this pantry over here it looks like you've got a little bit more storage space over here. I wouldn't put like food food in here, but you got some storage space over here because you got your wash and dryer set up right over here. So you don't have that pass through through the garage, but you do have a washer and dryer set up right there. Let me just check. Let me make sure we didn't miss anything when we came through that front. There's nothing else hiding over there, is there? No, you've got, that's the, there's the garage entry and then you got the washer and dryer set up over here. This is plenty of space for an eat-in. It is run up top for electricity. So you have plenty of space to put an eat-in in if you wanted that. And then you've got all of that open space right there for living room. So you gotta imagine that the TV is gonna go in in this area over here, because that's where the, the cable is run. And then you got plenty of uh, wall space over here. You've got the pass-through that we just came from that dining area, right over in that area. And then you've got uh, access to the outside, to the back. Um, so we'll try to go around back a little bit later and see just how big that yard is. Looks like, I mean, you've got a good amount of privacy on that side. Let's see, let's see if we can get out here right now. Yeah, we can get out there. Looks like you got a, a nice amount of privacy. Here's coming down the side of the house. That's probably is where the air conditioning is, and right next to where that air conditioning is, is where that other um, that door that led out. And you got plenty of space back here. I mean, this is pretty. It's pretty cool. You got plenty of space for you to let those kids come out and run and play. You got a decent amount of privacy. You got a nice high fence right there. Um, it's just cool. And I mean, this tree. Look at this tree. This tree is gorgeous. That's a beautiful tree. And you've got a small enough area right here that you can put some chairs and stuff here if you didn't want to do anything else. And you can drop some chairs and things right there. So that's kind of cool as well. It's a bad side. All right, so we come back inside. We're going, we're going right back through that living room area, looking in the kitchen. I mean, the sunlight in here is beautiful. This is what it looks like in the morning. There are no additional lights on. We've got plenty of light coming through into what is the master bedroom. Uh, and then we've got another bedroom over here off to the side. So this is bedroom number three. Again, smaller bedroom. It's got a nice look outside to that backyard that we just took a look at. It's got a closet in here. This one is run for a ceiling fan. So you do have a ceiling fan in here. Um, smaller room, also run for a cable. So you can put something in here. I might, I mean, even with the closet in here, I don't know what, you know, what the living situation looks like for you, but I might want to use this as more of an office. Um, Cause once you put some stuff in there, the echo kind of goes away and you've got what you need to really be effective in there. But then when you swing right over here, you've got the master bedroom. And the master bedroom's got beautiful, beautiful light that comes out in the morning. Um, you can probably fit a queen size bed over here. Um, it's got this, I'm not even sure what this window, detail is called, but I'm sure, you know, I mean, it's already letting in some beautiful light. You've got that tree. I mean, gosh, you can wake up and look at that tree every morning. That's beautiful. Um, I kind of, I'm digging the color here. It matches what they did with the floors, which is kind of good. So that's kind of cool. And you do, again, you've got the ceiling fan right in here. And as I look at it, there's no closet in the room itself, but it runs over into the bathroom. Let's assume that that the closet is gonna be in the bathroom area. You've got a walk-in shower here. You've got a tub right here. And then over here, let's see. Yeah, we've got a nice, a nice walk-in shower. I mean, you can get some stuff done in there. And then, yeah, you've got the toilet area right here. And then right here, you've got this walk-in closet over here. Let's see if it'll like. You got a nice little walk-in closet with some shelving, some organization and stuff in there. So it's kind of cool. And you got the double vanity, which, you know, we're a fan of double vanities. 
and all that's gonna go right back out. So you didn't have the closet in here um, in the master bedroom, but you do have the closet right out of the, in that, in that master bathroom. And, and then you get to come out here and this thing opens up. This is beautiful for entertaining. Um, you know, it's a family home, right? It's a family home, but if you're a young family and you're looking for a home that, that you know, it gives you an opportunity to get some entertaining done and uh, to still feel the flow of everybody in a central location. I do kind of like the feel of this house with the central location. And the, the eating or the dining area is beautiful. It's set off to the side. It's still accessible so that when you're over here, you still have this view to the kitchen. You've still got, you've got this beautiful wall that you can do some things with. Um, it's, there's enough room in here for a very nice size table. And then again, once everybody's done eating, there's this area to just hang out. You can go out in the back and kind of play around. Um, you know, let the kids have fun. So that's this property. I mean, this thing is beautiful. It's not overly, you know, huge. It's beautiful for a nice young family. There's still some opportunities to make some upgrades. They did some beautiful work with the floors. They've got those upgraded. The space is nice. The backyard space is incredible. That tree, ah, love that tree. Um, you still got, you can put some ceiling fans in here. You can do some countertop work in the kitchen. You can upgrade the appliances. If you still wanted to bring the house value up and bring the, the, the atmosphere up while you're living in this house and pulling out some of the value in that place. If you're in Tampa, check this thing out. If you know somebody who's coming to Tampa and maybe looking for something like this, make sure you show them this. And uh, until next time, this has been House Hopping. I've been Rashad, and I'm out.